Welcome to the LEGO Technic Figure Roller Coaster Tech video. If you haven't already, watch the main video first. Let's start with the half turntable. To keep the card from falling off, three pins with bushings protrude to lock it in place on the carrier. When the carrier reaches either side, the pins are pulled back in by a spring-loaded cam. The half turntable is driven by one L motor and is protected by two clutch gears. The large push arm is driven by one XL motor that is linked to both turntables. The launcher is driven by two XL motors. The paddle on the track connects with the bottom of the cart and pushes it forward at high speed. When the cart is launched into the lift, it is locked in place by a spring-loaded cam. Notice the stopper block is not part of the lift. This is necessary so the lift can be lowered while the cart hangs in the grabber. The lift is driven by one L motor connected to two clutch gears to protect it. The grabber is driven by one M motor and centers itself on the carrying bars on the cart. The spinner itself is driven by two XL motors. The spinner and grabber have their own standalone system with an S brick and the battery box also acts as a counterweight. Eight clutch gears were needed to get the right amount of torque to spin and still work with the precision stop. The precision stop is needed to make sure the spinner can stop exactly above the lift and the folding wheel. It works with one servo motor that can lift a stopper bar on either side. For the spinner to be able to rotate freely, the rails need to move out of the way on both sides. That is why I build a lift on one side and folding rails on the other. The folding rail is also operated by a servo motor. The big lifting wheel has a self-resetting system. It is activated when the cart hits the power function switch at the bottom. At the end of its cycle, a cam system pushes the switch back to its starting position. It works with one XL motor driving the wheel on both sides. The lifter is driven by one L motor connected to a gear rack housing with a clutch gear. The sideway tracks are driven by two M motors connected by clutch gear on either side of the tracks. When the cart reaches the end of the ramp, it hits a stopping block, flips over and is caught in a tightly made tunnel. An L motor spins six wheels to accelerate the cart and make sure it fully enters the carrier and hits the stopper pushing. And finally, the half turntable takes the cart full circle. <laughs> 